Welcome back to How to Restaurant. Serving can seem like a gratifying job because you make tips and at times cash over fist. Servers love to gloat about how much money they made in tips on their last table and then throw a hate parade when the table leaves little to no money at all. Serving is a love and hate kind of job and you must have some pretty thick skin if you want to survive in this side of the world of the workforce. And not only thick skin is required, but you have to be mentally ready to perform this kind of job because an average customer will think that serving is not a real job and is easy to perform and will treat you accordingly. Serving is not easy, and if people like myself make it look easy, that's because we are good at our job. Moreover, the better you are at your job, the harder it becomes. Servers have to stand on their feet for many hours of the day, and they have to deal with multiple personalities between customers, managers, colleagues, and most of the time, the owners as well. For the average customer, a server must be perfect because the money they make depends on their performance on the table they are servicing. And 90% of the time, they get blamed for every single thing that goes wrong in a restaurant. The toilet is broken or overflowing, less tip. The food was horrible, they get yelled at. The music is too loud, it's their fault. And overall, for anything that goes wrong in a restaurant, they get a lesser tip. Servers are the punching bags of the establishment. And that is if the manager is a coward and refuses to confront the issues that he or she is in charge of. And this happens all the time. So prepare your mind for what's to come. Expect it and learn how to cope with this reality. No, this doesn't happen at every restaurant, but for the majority it does. So back to my first statement. Serving can sometimes seem like a rewarding job. And I will explain why. Servers make most of their money in the season. No, not a winter season or summer. Season meaning a busy time of year that a restaurant's location thrives economically. In Virginia, the season starts around May and begins to slow down in September. In Florida, at least where I was located, the busy time of year, hence the season, started around late December and lasted to about mid-April. The point here is, this is where you will make the majority of your money. So to the cooks, when you see or hear servers making all this money, remember, it is only when it's busy. You make steady money year round, as a server makes almost the same amount as you. A server can make a reasonable $220 a shift, working 12 hours a day during a busy time of year, but then can make as little as $50 for the same amount of time working in a slow time of year. The best thing a server can do is save as much money as possible while they get it. And that goes for bartenders as well. So, how to serve her? Right, let's get to it. First of all, the first thing you should know about any restaurant you work for is the menu and company policy. Two critical facts that you should hone in on. Know that menu and know the company's rules. It shows respect for the business owner and their investment. And when approaching a table, you wanna know exactly what you're talking about, what you are selling, and yes, your tips depend on it. Second, make sure your clothes are clean and neat at all times. Be sure your fingernails and hands are groomed and make sure you put your hair up if it's too long or at least above your shoulders. I would recommend you wear non-slip shoes. You can find some really comfortable ones at your nearest Walmart or Target super centers. And yes, they have stylish ones as well. Be sure to shower before each shift and look as presentable as possible. Remember, you are handling people's food and drinks. Keep your body and breath fresh at all times. You are not only representing your company, but you are representing yourself. And there are so many opportunities that will slide right by you if you are not up to par with your appearance. And as a side note, when I say freshen your breath, I don't mean to chew gum while you're at the table. That is a big no-no in this industry. Make sure you rinse your mouth in private if possible. Now back to staying up to par with your personal appearance, have you ever seen the movie Waiting, when the group of business people offers the server a great job because of his performance and professionalism? This truly happens. It's happened to me. Sometimes you stand out, and people want you, and they'll persuade you to join their team. It's not about this loyalty of being a traitor to your workplace. It's about advancement and prosperity. Opportunities will arise, and if your employer wants to see you change to their company forever, then they are not a good employer. Maybe you are unhappy at your workplace. Perhaps you need to make more money. Or maybe the opportunity that was offered is a dream job. Who knows? I do not encourage you to leave your employer hanging. I encourage you to prosper and make the right decision for you. Third, put the phone down and focus on your work. As I said in my last episode, turn the world off and get to it. Make sure you take the correct orders and punch in the right items. And always double check. When you receive an order from your customer, read it back to them 
and when you deliver the food to the kitchen or to the bar, be sure they know what they are making and recheck the order. It's best you take a few seconds to double check than have to wait 20 minutes to correct whatever is made or rang in wrong. Lil Boo Boo's post on Instagram is irrelevant, and Kanye West's tweet will only make you forget to make a drink or punch in the correct food item. Focus on your work. Let's walk you through the process, from taking an order to closing the tab out. 